School districts will also have to be out with their plan to test teachers and some students locally. Superintendents will rely on the county health department to meet that state expectation. News Channel 9's Adrian Smith tells us how Onondaga County will be helping out. Despite having a low infection rate, County Executive Ryan McMahon saying today that testing when it comes to reopening schools is still going to be a huge priority for the county. The county and the school districts are actively working on a plan to come up with testing strategies, especially when it comes to teachers and staff. They're the first priority, and then the second priority would be high school students. But when it comes to testing before the school year starts, the county is offering the program, but McMahon says it'll ultimately be up to each school district to decide logistics. Uh, certainly, it is very easy to put together protocols. If someone comes in who is symptomatic for a rapid test, that's easy. Uh, we're looking at some other ways of being more proactive, and uh, certainly uh, we'll partner with our districts on that uh, to make sure that we continue to make sure that uh, school in, uh, is as safe as possible for the children and the employees. In terms of who's paying for all of these tests, McMahon says the insurance company should cover a majority of it, but if there does happen to be a gap, the county will work with the school districts, both the county and the school districts also working on a plan to actively trace the virus when and if it does make its way into the schools. At the On Center, Adrian Smith, News Channel 9.